Our starting points this afternoon, the South Korean government has announced a new set of unilateral sanctions on North Korea effective today, some two weeks after the regime test-fired its most powerful ballistic missile to date. But with a list of firms and individuals taken from the existing U.S. sanctions blacklist, Seoul has admitted the move is more symbolic than practical. Our Kwon Jang-ho starts us off. Seoul's foreign ministry released a statement on Sunday announcing that a new set of unilateral sanctions on North Korea had been reached. The new measures identify a list of 20 North Korean firms and 12 individuals believed to have been involved in illicit trade activities that helped fund North Korea's missile program. The firms mostly consist of North Korean banks and shipping companies, while the individuals are mostly banking officials based overseas in such countries as China, Vietnam and the UAE, as well as one intelligence agent. These measures come just a month after the previous round of sanctions, which blacklisted 18 individuals as well. But as with both instances, Seoul confirmed that the newly added firms and individuals were taken from existing U.S. sanctions with no new targets identified. They're also largely seen as symbolic, as South Korea has long since cut off all trade and financial ties with the regime. An official from the presidential office has admitted that the new sanctions may not have any practical effect, but that it will serve to send a symbolic message of Seoul's efforts to stop North Korea's nuclear weapons development. The official added that it's part of an effort to keep pace with the rest of the international community. Seoul's foreign ministry also said the measures highlighted the strength of the South Korea-U.S. alliance. Sunday's announcement signals the Moon Jae-in administration's determination to continue its pledge of sanctions and pressure on the regime, especially with the president's trip to China on Wednesday, where he's expected to call on Beijing for further help to rein in North Korea. Kwon Jang-woo, Arirang News.